what's going on guys boxification here so today i'm going to show you how to remove the custom hard and notify so it looks normal just like on a retail console um i just feel the need to say it's a super simple thing to do uh, and i know that i totally understand that uh, but so many people ask me this like i get asked this multiple multiple times like in a week and so i thought why not make a video on it so this is the video so uh what i'm talking about when i say the custom hard and notify i mean uh, when you press the guide button you've got you see like how it's blue this is xp online so you've got like the blue hard um it's yeah it's like all of this stuff uh, you see how it's blue there and then also when when someone sends you a friend request or some, someone sends you a message you get like the thing that comes up the notify the x notify and so that's blue as well and so it's the same on pretty much any other server uh so yeah okay so here's what you want to do you want to open up neighborhood you want to go to jtag you want to go to retail hard drive emulation you want to go to xponline.ini if you're on xponline if you're on rebellion it will be in their ini if you're on ninja it will be in their ini if you're on uh, teapot whatever server you're on it will be in their ini or it should be it depends obviously uh, some servers might not be as good and they might not have the ability to turn it on and off maybe you you, you might just want to request to them can you put this in the INI so you can disable it or enable it uh, what you want to do is you want to drag that to the desktop and open it up and then it's, it's, it's pretty simple you want to look for something to do with notify or uh, XUI or uh, HUD or like something to do with custom HUD so essentially you've got it right at the top for XP online you've got it up here whereas for like for example let's see uh, let's see teapot can we can we download the files um, let me go download teapot client here we go uh, there you go uh, so in here you have teapot root files teapot.ini so in here it will be there you go custom UI um, yeah I think that's it just custom UI it looks like they don't have any other things uh, yeah custom UI there so you set that to force because true meaning custom UI on enabled uh, so we'll exit out of that exit out of that same with um, Rebellion, they'll have it as well, so you can download it there. Uh, Rebellion plugin, and then I'm sure that they'll have like a what, what have they got in here? Yeah, Rebellion I and I. Here we go. Uh, you'll have like uh, let's see, let's see if we can find it. Um, this will be it. Here we go. Look, you'll see you see here it says enables or disables the Rebellion Live UI, so you can set that to uh, so one is enabled and then zero is off as it says up here. There you go. Uh, so let's go back to the uh, XP online I and I so here we got uh, here we go we're gonna disable all of this so force uh, and I'll just copy that as well here we go Cop uh, copy and then paste or oh, there's space there there you go paste and then paste so uh, essentially I'm turning all of these things off so XUI being the HUD uh, notify being the X notify time being the amount of time you have so you you see it or don't see it and then redeem hook so the redeem hook being where you like press the guide button go all the way over to the right hand side of the guide and then you can see like you know where you go to redeem tokens and such uh, so yeah so now i'm going to save this so file save exit and then stick this back on the root of the hard drive and so when you reboot your console you'll see uh yeah you, you'll see the difference i'm going to reboot it now and uh yeah i'm gonna you know i'll show you on the console now okay here we go so console's coming back on it shouldn't it shouldn't take too long i'm just going to turn my controller on now so let me do that really quick so yeah as you can see xbox x signed in um they, it was totally normal the you know the x notify was totally totally fresh more x notifiers coming up gonna press the guide button and as you can see it's yeah pretty fresh there's no it just looks like a regular standard console apart from the notifiers coming up saying connected to xp online um the matrix mods uh, authentication thing coming up apart from that if you play whatever game you're going to play bo2 mw2 whatever it will just look like look like a fresh console so yeah so i know this is a simple thing to do i i absolutely know that i know that maybe um a tutorial on it isn't required but you can see you you, you can see now. now now you know how to do it so that's it so yeah thanks for watching um yeah and i'll see you in the next video oh uh, yeah goodbye